it's Cassia, and we're here at the Frank Southern Ice Arena, and we're gonna learn about ice skating today. Why don't we head inside? Hey guys, we're here with our friend Jen and we're inside at the ice arena. So what kind of programs and opportunities do you have to offer to students here? So here at Frank Southern, we actually have a lot of different groups using the ice. We've got hockey groups, um, both young and adult. Uh, we've got the Blades that play for the high school. Uh, we've got the Bloomington Figure Skating Club, which is uh, figure skaters that like to go out and compete during the season. Um, we've got IU Figure Skating. Uh, also, IU's got hockey. Um, there's public ice for everybody to come enjoy. So, And what kind of age range to, is involved here at the ice arena? Well, what we've got, got going on right now behind us is our uh, skating school. And this is a perfect example. It's for everybody. We've got tots who are as young as um, two years old all the way up through adults. Um, we'll have our adult class this morning. In fact, I think we've got parent tots out there right now. Um, and so we've got all ages out there. And then you'll see that on public ice. Families come out and enjoy the time together. So oh, Awesome. Um, do you have any tips for any starters um, uh, for ice skating when they start? Is there any safety things or sure. things they should know? So in terms of safety, especially if they're uh, getting on the ice for the first time and the younger they are, we really highly recommend a, a helmet. And so you can bring a helmet from home. Just a bike helmet works great. The rink always has helmets that people can borrow. Um, you know, covering up hands just for warmth and comfort and wearing layers, loose fitting clothing is best, not super loose. Um, you know, tying the skates properly, they want to be firm down in the toes, but not so tight that they're cutting off circulation. And then up around the ankles, just a little bit looser so that they can actually bend in their knees. Um, and then in the skating school, we teach basic skating skills and teach them how to carry their bodies properly so they're less likely to fall. And, and we actually start out with just how, how to fall and get back up, so. <laughs> well, as someone who's never skated, I really want to get out there and try it out. So can I try it out? Just so happens, I think I have your side. <laughs> oh, perfect. There perfect you go. fit. Hey guys, we're here with our friend Megan and she's going to teach us how to learn some basic ice skating steps. So uh, how do we begin? Well, we'll start by learning a few basic positions to keep us safe on the ice, and we'll also learn how to fall down and get up properly. So how do you fall down properly? Well, first you want to make sure your hands are nice and close to your body, and you'll sit down as low as you can and just fall over on the ice. Okay, perfect. Um, what would be like a bad example of falling? Having your feet go up in the air, they might hit somebody, which is really dangerous. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, or having your arms be spread out on the ice. You'll want to keep your arms close to your body. Okay, and what are some of the first basic positions that we'll be learning? Well, when you get out there and you're standing on two feet, you want to make sure to have a little bit of bend in your knees. If you're too stiff, you'll be off balance. And you also want to make sure to keep your arms in front of your body the whole time. Okay, I think I can do that. Um, is there any other basic steps that we'll be learning today? We will attempt to learn swizzles and maybe a little bit of a stop. What's a swizzle? A swizzle is where you take your feet and you move your heels and your toes together in a motion kind of shaped like a fish. Okay guys, now that we got the swizzle down, what are we doing next? Well, now we need to learn how to stop. Okay. So we're going to start by getting our feet right under our shoulders, right in line with our shoulders. Bend your knees and scoot your feet out to the side. Yeah, do you hear that? That sound is what you're looking for. And also, a benefit of this is you get to make <laughs> snow while you're doing Whoa! 
podcast. Your skating is really coming along. Those well, lessons are paying off. Well, thank you so much. And I couldn't have done it without you here at the Frank Southern Ice Arena. So thank you so much, Jen, for having us here today. Thanks for joining us. It was great to have you guys. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we head out of here? Yeah, we hope a lot of people will come out and join us for lessons and learn some of the things that you've learned to do. We have uh, got two sessions every season. We start in October and we've got a second one in January. We go through March. Um, and we've got lessons on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturday mornings. Well, so. awesome. I hope you guys check it out, and we will see you next time.